Shalom, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This next composition was composed on the trains on the way to the gas chambers. Our maestro, Eli Jaffe, has written an introduction to this composition, An Imamin, which depicts the feeling, the smells, the fear, the sounds on the train. He has turned the orchestra into the train. I will tell you the story, and Eli, Eli Jaffa, together with this wonderful orchestra, will put you into, inside one of these horrible cattle cars on the way to the gas chambers. At the end, at the end of the composition, you will hear a gong. This gong is the sound of the gas. It's the sound of the smoke coming out of the crematoriums. In 1942, Rabbi Azrael Fastag was a chassid and a chazan living in the city of Warsaw. His voice was loved by all. However, dark clouds began to cover the skies of Europe, the clouds of evil Nazism. In the middle of the night, roused from their warm beds, husbands were separated from their wives, children taken from the arms of their parents, and elderly, elderly people were shot on the spot. Tens of thousands of Jews were shipped off daily to their deaths in the train cattle cars. Inside one of these overcrowded dark cattle cars, crushed together with hundreds of other terrified men, women, and children, Rav Azriel Fastag found himself crouched in the corner by himself. He could hear the stifled cries of children, crushed together, screaming for their mothers. He closed his eyes and dreamt of how he would stand as the chazan on Yom Kippur with a Mojitza Rebbe right next to him, leading the tefillot. Tears poured down his cheeks as he imagined one of the 13 principles of faith. Ani ma'amin be'emunah shelema be'viyat ha-mashiach. Closing his eyes, he meditated on these words. It was not long before he began to hum a tune to himself. There amidst the death and despair on the train to Treblinka, the Hasid was transformed into a pillar of song, of song. He didn't hear the voices, but gradually, everybody else on the train joined in louder and louder. The spong spread from car to car. Every mouth that could still draw a breath joined in. Reb Azrael Fastag's Anima Amin. Anima Amin, Anima Amin. His eyes were red from crying, his cheeks wet with tears. In a choked voice, he cried out, I will give half of my Olam Haba to whomever will take this tune to the Mojitza Rebbe. Anima Amin. Who will take it? Two young men approached. They said, we will take the song to the Rebbe. They managed to climb out through a hole in the roof of the cattle car. They both jumped. One was instantly killed. The other eventually managed to make his way to Eretz Yisrael and from there to New York, where the tune was given to the Rebbe. The Rebbe said, with this tune, they went to the gas chambers. With this tune, we will march to greet Moshiach.
This arrangement was written by Ellie. I think it's the most amazing arrangement. You put us on the trains, Ellie. You really brought us in there. Thank you so much. 